morning everyone just on my way home now left the house this morning about 8 something I only had one class and now I'm done for the day so I can go home I'm going to the gym later this evening that's for sure hold me to that but for the rest of the day nothing else planned I'm gonna chill out at home get some work done on the website and um, that's about it nothing else planned I was gonna go ice skating because I didn't go yesterday but I don't know if I can be bothered now what about you what are you up to this weekend I've just given myself a great idea, you know, I'm at home now, but I thought why not just go out, go somewhere, I'm going to wait for Hillary to finish work and then we're going to go to the supermarket, Boo. but why don't I go exploring the south of Beijing, see what's there. Um, I made a video a few years back, Ugh. I made a video a few years back and it was me and my friend Jenny, we went to explore um, part of Beijing, it was like an abandoned theme park. And that video on my YouTube account has the most views and most of the people that go there are disappointed because they go there hoping to find some kind of, you know, urban exploring or something like really cool. And actually that video, I just made it randomly. I wasn't even planning to make a video that day. I just kind of took a few clips on my iPhone and just literally strung them together back to back. Nothing else. Um, and somehow that's the most successful video that I've got on my whole channel. So I thought, hmm, there's a demand for urban exploration in China, so I'm going to actually do some urban exploration, and let's just see. I don't know what's there, I've never been, so yeah, let's just check it out. make a mistake by coming here. to the south of Beijing and it's the same story here as it is in the north of Beijing pretty much old rundown buildings and lots of construction sites everywhere is a construction site and the air quality is terrible here as well I think I'm gonna do this exploring stuff in summer because right now it's way too cold my nose is going red fingers are cold but yeah, there's not much else happening here, just construction, construction everywhere. Like this. And then a load of the old traditional kind of homes, which all those people I'm sure have been told that they need to get out of the house or sell it to the government as soon as possible so they can make all these new things. What do you think anyway? I'm used to living in a house back home and since I've come here it's like everyone's in an apartment with you know like all crowded together. I don't think I like it. What would you prefer? A house with a garden and a driveway or a high-rise apartment on the edge of the sea? tell you what, being around here is not good for your health. I'm walking around now and all I can feel is like sand in my lungs. Everything here is covered in dust. Everything. Because there's so much construction. Random ice. No doubt from this government vehicle.
cruising to Hillary at the subway station and now we're heading home. Gonna have a quick snack before heading out again to go to the gym. So as you can see from my little urban exploring mission just now, uh, well it wasn't really urban exploring, but as you can see it wasn't really much fun <laughs> because that part of Beijing has nothing there except like, I don't know, it just didn't seem very interesting. What do you think? Should I try again? I can try again. <laughs> if you know somewhere else in Beijing that's like interesting and kind of weird, you can let me know. Or if you suggest like a type of place that I should visit, like there's so many different types of buildings and areas in Beijing that I'm sure I can find the next proper urban exploring adventure. But yeah, this could be a thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go home. See you in a little bit. Well, I'm gonna blame Hillary for this one 100%. I failed to go to the gym. We were gonna go to the gym and then I waited all day for her and then she decided at the last minute, ah, I don't feel like going, I'm too tired. Well, not tired, just feeling lazy, whatever. So she didn't want to go, so we didn't go. And then guess what we did? We ordered takeaway. I waited the whole day. I didn't order takeaway or anything. And I even just made some noodles, even just like cooked some noodles up as a pre-gym snack. Then we didn't go to the gym. And then we've just got an order takeaway. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog there. I'm just going to quickly show you what we've ordered. And then, yeah, I guess I'll just see you tomorrow. So, yeah. See you tomorrow. This, despite looking absolutely disgusting, it's small little fish and it should taste okay. This is some oily compound chicken. This one is some tofu and some peppers and whatever mixed up, mixed up, mashed up. And this one is aubergine or eggplant, depending on where you're from. With some, I don't even know, potatoes and stuff like that. Yeah. Alright, see you tomorrow. Bye bye.